Did you know that many widely available large language models or LLMs are skewed toward Western views in the English language? Many researchers have written on this and even OpenAI, the creator of ChatGPT, has self-reported this bias. Take this fun example. A Facebook user asks Google's Gemini, Anthropic's Claude, and opens AI's ChatGPT to recommend a dipping sauce for hot pot, a true Asian favorite. Claude's recipe came out on top on the taste test for this user, while others missed the mark. Of course, test is relative, but this fun and simple test gives us an idea of how much LLM understand or don't understand our local cultural preferences. Now imagine what it would be like for LLMs to communicate in any of the 1,200 languages spoken in culturally diverse Southeast Asia. In fact, the developers in the region have already begun to build models that speak in Indonesian, Malay, Lao, Khmer, Thai, and Vietnamese, among other languages. One of the key reasons Southeast Asian developers themselves have offered is that these local models democratize access to advanced language technologies for less represented languages. But because language is more than just words, it encodes history and culture and identity, these local models project an alternative to what some Southeast Asian researchers term the WIRED Foundations, an acronym for Western, Industrialized, Rich, Educated and Democratic Foundations of many of the models out there in service. For the region, local LLMs afford distinct cultural perspectives and agency in an AI ecosystem otherwise dominated by the worldviews and resources of others. LLMs aren't just about numbers and algorithms. Ultimately, the data they rely and are trained on depend very much on the politics, particularities, and evolution of language itself. In Southeast Asia, where languages and cultures are so diverse, Inaccurate or incomplete representation in LLMs can result from the lack of standardized textual sources, the intermixing of languages and registers, something that is very common in multi-ethnic communities, as well as a reliance on non-verbal or non-textual cues such as facial expressions and physical gestures. All these beg a more fundamental questions of representation. What makes Southeast Asian language models authentically Southeast Asian? Do the data sources in these LOM reflect the true local knowledge, or do they mirror an interaction with outside perspectives that has changed local narratives? For example, colonial descriptions of Southeast Asian peoples and cultures that have survived the post-independence period have unfortunately been taken to be factual and historical accounts. They've even been internalized and reproduced by local populations in local languages, so that stereotypes of ethnic communities in modern-day Malaysia, Indonesia, or Myanmar, for example, still prevail, even though those tropes were used by colonial administrators to divide and rule. A different but equally problematic example involves mixed language sources especially when what we assume to be universally understood notions such as time and space are actually conceived of very differently by other communities. For instance, whereas Western notions of time and space are chronological and divisible, Balinese history, on the other hand, weaves in what might be considered mythical stories by Western terms outside of linear patterns of time and space. Many indigenous communities elsewhere also follow this tradition. There is a long history of mixing interpretations in Southeast Asia dating back to the colonial period. So if local texts are mixed with Western narratives and used to train local LLMs, this could result in false or misleading representations about the history or culture of a particular place. It could also exacerbate the risk of model hallucinations. Reproducing language is one thing. Reproducing knowledge is quite another. 
Both these examples in turn serve as a dilemma for Southeast Asian developers to train models from scratch or to fine tune foreign models. Training a truly useful model from scratch would require collecting and processing high quality, high quantity data, which could take many, many months depending on the availability of native speakers and the accessibility of the language in question, amongst other things. Fine-tuning an available model, on the other hand, would require a keen awareness of inbuilt biases in that model and mitigating for those through broad consultations with others beyond the technical community. But Southeast Asia will also have to be mindful of yet another potential trap, geopolitics. While Western foundational models have dominated the region over the last five years, highlighting Western biases in these models, since last year, the Chinese model couldn't have made quite an impact on the region. The launch of DeepSeek as an open source model will likely only disrupt the Southeast Asian developer space even more. With some in Washington and Beijing viewing Southeast Asia as contested space for major power influence, the region's stakeholders will now not only have to navigate geopolitical tensions, but also be fully aware of both Western and Chinese biases in foundational models. Read our reports for more.